Hi, in this video, we're going to pick up where we left off uh, in the previous video. And in that video, we added labels to the rooms and we added some partitions between the rooms. So we could uh, use the room tool and have that help us label these things. So we're going to pick it up here. We're going to start adding dimensions to the floor plan. And when we're dimensioning, main things we want to show are door and window locations, um, the lengths of our walls, how they contour at the outside of the house, and overall room dimensions. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that in this video. Uh, some things you don't need to worry about dimensioning, uh, certainly for this assignment, uh, will be the closets, the stairs, and wall thicknesses. I don't really need to see what your wall thicknesses are, okay? I'm more concerned about what these rooms look like. So let's get going. So we're gonna use the aligned dimension tool. And when you're planning out your dimensioning, say we wanna show the door and location, the door and window locations along this front wall, we're always gonna start on the part of the house that extends out the most so in this case it's the garage this kind of if i was standing out in front here this is the first part of the house uh, i would see i'm going to start my dimensioning here because if i start it uh, let's say over in the left hand side as i come over i might find that my dimensions are not spaced far enough away from this wall. So by the time I get to the garage, my dimensions end up sort of in the wall or, or in the room uh, internal to the garage. So it always helps if we can start out over here at the, the piece that protrudes the most. To start, we're just gonna start clicking walls. And when we're dimensioning doors, we only really need to go to the center line of the door. So you can see that's highlighted right now as I hover over the door, it picks out the center line right away. So I'm gonna click on that and pull my dimension down till it's reasonably spaced away from the wall. And now I can just continue on making my dimensions. And what I'm going for is a string of dimensions, a continuous string. So when I look at these dimensions, I should see one dimension kind of leads into the, to, into the next. So they're all um, horizontally, as we're looking at it, at the same level, okay? What we want to not do is this, okay? This six and uh, six feet and five and a half inches, I want to see that right in line with these other dimensions. So I can hit escape if I need to change something like that. Um, and I can grab the arrows and pull it down, okay? I'm gonna click right on the line. I saw that the move icon, the four arrows came up when I hovered over it. So I'm gonna use that to grab it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out of the align dimension command. So I'm just gonna select again and continue on. And you get the idea. We're gonna keep going uh, through all our windows and doors, just left clicks. And when I have it aligned, it kind of snaps into alignment with the rest. And I can come over here to the left with my cursor and click out in open space. That's how I'm gonna lock the dimension in. So I'm just gonna keep moving along. A little tedious to watch, but uh, we'll go through one wall and that'll be it, okay? I think after one wall, you'll get the idea of what we're looking for here. So one last dimension completes this string. It kind of finishes off uh, the overall, the front of the house. So now we're looking at all these dimensions. The next thing I would like to show uh, for someone reading this drawing is give them a very easy uh, dimension that's easy to read, showing them the overall width of the garage. Okay, so I'm gonna place dimensions now that um, show the dimension wherever the wall changes direction. So in this case, uh, I've done the garage and the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that wall and this wall. So these are the contours of the home. 
uh, shown with some easy dimensioning. I don't need to go from this wall to this wall because I already have it right here. It's just four foot six. If I did it again, that would just be a little bit redundant. Finally, I'm going to give an overall. Okay. I'm going to go from one end of the house all the way to the other. And when we zoom in, we can see it's 72 feet and 11 and eight uh, inches. And that's good. So this is what you typically have uh, for each side of your house. So smaller dimensions, those are showing door and window locations, some larger dimensions, which show the contours of the house and then an overall dimension. Okay, so that's on the outside of the house, we carry on and do that on the left, the right and the back of the house. Next, we are going to talk about adjusting units. So if I look at this 72 feet, uh, uh, 11 and 1 eighths of an inch, I would not care too much about that eighth of an inch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to adjust the precision of the dimensions to just round up to whole inches. Okay. Fractions of an inch we're not so concerned about at this level. So what we can do is we can click on any dimension. It doesn't matter. And we're going to use the edit type button. And if we scroll down, we're going to find this primary unit section. So if I click on these this units format button i can see that it's using project settings and they're all grayed out so these are some things i'd like to change specifically the rounding it's uh, right now to the nearest one eight i'm going to click the box and i'm going to customize some of this so if i click the drop down arrow i can select to the nearest one whole inch okay i'm going to click ok and ok now you can see the dimensions have updated. Now it looks a little cleaner, a little more concise, and that's what I'm after. Next, you're gonna show the overall sizes of your rooms. And this kind of gets into, uh, <clears throat> kind of gets a little crowded. Uh, so what we wanna do to avoid crowding the information in this diagram is create strings of dimensions. So just like we have a string here um, where we show all the windows and doors. We want to do the same thing uh, around the room. So for instance, if I created a string of dimensions approximately where my cursor is, and I moved across here, I would show the master bedroom, I would show the length of the kitchen, and I would show the, uh, the length or the width of this living room. Okay, so I did three dimensions. I could do another string of dimensions coming from the approximate location of this cursor, moving down through the master bedroom, through the bathroom, and then through this uh, this one that's just labeled room. This is a bedroom. And that would pick up another three major dimensions. Clearly, I'm going to need some more strings of dimensions. So I could do another one here through the bathroom, getting into the dining room, and uh, maybe picking up the length of this office. And then it would carry on into the garage. Okay. So a little bit of planning required, a little bit of thinking, but the good thing is if you do something you don't like, you can always move it around to make things fit. So we'll get started. Uh, we'll do two of these together and then you'll do the rest on your own. So going back to the Align Dimension tool, I'm going to click on the inside of the wall because at this point I care more about the room dimensions than I do about wall thickness. So I'm avoiding the wall thickness. So I'm going to click right here on this side of the wall and carry on. I'm going to go over this room divider and I'm going to see how that dimension locks to the other dimension. So they're in line. I click over here out in space. And finally, I'm going to do this third dimension. Okay. Moving my cursor over to the right and clicking out in space. Now, sometimes you're going to find a couple interferences. Ideally, the 17 foot three inches doesn't override or sit on top of my room and my tag information. So I can just move that over by clicking the right thing. So if I go over the dimension, uh, I can drag this little dot connected to the text, the little blue dot. I'm going to move it over to the left and that's it. Okay. So now everything kind of sits in its own spot. We'll do that with this vertical string of dimensions that we're going to add. Uh, so again, align dimension tool. I want to go from the wall to the wall. And you can see 
how I want to run my string of dimensions. I kind of want to run it straight down from here. So I'll place it and then I'm going to come back and move this 15 foot too. I'm going to zoom in on the bathroom a little bit and I'm going to go from the inside face of the wall to the inside face of the wall. And we're going to cursor over until those this dimension locks on with my existing dimension. And finally, we're going to do this uh, bedroom. So inside a wall, inside a wall. And we're moving the cursor down the empty space and clicking. All right now, we're going to look at what we've got. A uh, little interference here. So uh, we could take the dimension and move it up and out of the way. We could also uh, move the room tag. So if we move it over to the right, it uh, gives us a little more clearance there. Uh, same thing here. It's easiest to grab the 15 foot two, just drag that down, get out of the way of the master bedroom tag. And that's the idea. Okay, so you would go through the entire house, place dimensions you need uh, to suit your design. So thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.